oldest park in baseball. Eduardo Rodriguez starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Oh, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. High in the air out to center field. Damon is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. So the next to bat will be Trey Mancini. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this will be fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. And now Johnny Damon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Red Sox. The center fielder. And the pitch. Johnny Damon. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Center base hit. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. So now to the plate, Xander Bogarts he comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. What a season this guy's having. He leads the league in on base percentage, so he's mixing in some hits. He's also drawing some walks. A great combo. Any way you slice it, this guy knows how to get on base. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. What a powerhouse season in the top 10 in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Now the first pitch. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty V. And you know what, D. Rowe, this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. When you're struggling like this team. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Man this is a continuation of the great at bats we saw in last night's game when they lit it up seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping on. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. That batting average up in the stratosphere here to begin play with just a ridiculous number of home runs and just an absurd total of RBIs for a single season. The 0 1 on its way. Line toward right center. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. The run scores from second. It's a 2 0 ball game. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Well, they don't get much bigger than that one right there. He's now tied the single season base hit record. Oh, man, what an amazing year he's had so far. One more base hit, and he'll have an unprecedented season. Stay tuned, everybody, because it's about to get crazy. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center, and then gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third. It's a 3 nothing game. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. 
comes set and the 0-1. Hot shot on the ground is short. Fielded by Galvis on to first and there were two down. Batting seven. The right fielder. Next up is Dwight Evans and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First offering on its way as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. And he'll want to take that Look baseball good. out of play. Look that's good. a big one. Career hit number 2,500. To give you an indication as to the importance of that number, of all the players to play this game through the years, fewer than 100 have reached this total. Think about it, D-Row. I'm sure he remembers his first hit and probably his 100th hit. 2,500 hits. Wow. Yeah, he's on the clock now. 500 more until that Hall of Fame benchmark of 3,000 knocks. What a career this guy has put together. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. And the hits just keep on a coming against this arm. Yeah, Matt, and I'm the not sure how much longer they can leave him out there. Not only is he hurting the team, it's probably doing some damage to his psyche as well. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. And man alive, I thought this moment would never come. He's got to be absolutely shell-shocked after a miserable performance. Isaac Matson comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Up next to the Red Sox. The center fielder. Into the box, Johnny, Johnny Damon. And she'll take a good look at a curveball that sweeps right across the zone in there for the first strike. One for one with a single so far. This is line to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. He has success with two out, and the bottom of the first stays moving. Man, the hit parade continues. It's not an easy not thing to do stop. in professional baseball. It doesn't seem like this inning's going to ever stop. Right now, they've already scored seven runs. Here's Xander Bogarts now, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Now the 0-1. Here's Bogarts in the air out to deep left field. On to Lansdowne and gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, so he creeps ever closer to triple digits as they push this lead up to nine now. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Stepping in now, David Ortiz. So way down 
breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Hit hard on the ground to second. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, the side is retired. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Red Sox are out in front, nine to nothing. Now it'll be Kyle Schwarber. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just Kyle. gave up. Well, then I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as he'll go Hold after one. the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is yeah. rocking in the all facets days. right now, and Hold they're a fun watch. Rio Ruiz is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. That's taken. No ball, now it's 0 and 2. And right into the shift. He's got it. And he'll step He's on out. first for the out. Three unassisted. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Pat Valaika. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the inning continues. You know, D. Rowe, it's not always easy to hit in the day that games. Time. First five hitters, five up, five down. Six hole hitter, though. He must have gotten a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep Ball rolling one. out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six hole guy was locked and loaded. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders breaking balls and change ups but the chase a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Orioles lead one. They're looking up at a nine nothing deficit. Second set to go and into bat next one of the best blood producers in the land Jamie Martinez. This is when you got to get selfish. You cannot get complacent or overconfident right here. These days don't happen often when you got your foot on the accelerator and the entire offense is feeling pretty good. Get greedy and keep getting knocks and putting pressure on the defense. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. Galvis towards second. He's got it. And close You're play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Third baseman, Next up for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So next to hit is Bobby Dahlbeck grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. In there, and it's 0 1. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Here's the 0 1 pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Schwarber retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. 
So now into the box is Freddie Galvis as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Fouled off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. And with one away time for a quick check of the standings and it'll show you that these guys had the division race all sewn up as they look forward to baseball in October. Out in front of it strike one. And that one cut a little too much a ball and a strike. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. First pitch oh, of the A.B. now. Jumai Jones will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses yeah. there. It's nothing in one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Yep. Behind 0-2 now. Three. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down nine to nothing. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage Leading with off. them. The well, numbers no, back that up. Five extra right base here. hits on the stat sheet, guys. Right. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Hayes on the run for it. Still going back. And it's gone. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world. Now Christian Vasquez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Vasquez stands 5-9 as you see him in the right-handed box. He was a ninth round pick during the 2008 draft. What in there? Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And it's gone into the monster seats. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Wade LeBlanc is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. At the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Johnny Damon singled in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be so. No. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. The batter, number two. With that hard double, you get a glimpse to see why this guy is a legitimate MVP candidate this season. Whenever he gets a chance to produce, oh, and he's in the third safely with the stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far. They were a home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run that end of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Four runs here in this half inning. Aye. Fastball called for strike two. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield get something elevated I know you got a battle with two strikes and protect but if anything is belt or above oh. you got to throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score now back here's J.D. Martinez one for two with a triple so far in this one now the first pitch drilled on the ground is short Galvis is there and a bit of a He's high out. throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now so pace next pace. to bat will be oh Rafael Devers. One Never. for two with a double on his line thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing hey. pitch. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Hey, two. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. On now to the top of inning number four. Boston's out in front, 14 to nothing. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. He's getting a lot of first pitch outs and it's really easy to see why. He's and just past his outstretched glove into left to base hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shot out intact going forward but I'm not betting against him. So here's Trey Mancini as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. No runs two hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. And it's fouled away. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense now right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber, ah. as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Looking to put the ball, the ball. in play here. He went down on strikes one in one. his first at-bat. 
Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose Count to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's now just been completely the lost at the plate, flailing no. all over the place. Mm -hmm. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. Gonzalez is there. Oh. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles, but this one's pretty much over 14 to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Media and next to bat will be the first the baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman. Now the pitch. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Galvis, great stop. Got him. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. You know, you hear me talk about having baseball timing, having a baseball clock. That play right there showed it. Pretty play. The dive and then the ability to get back to your feet quickly and make that throw to cut him down at first. Dwight Evans, the batter now. High and deep to left center field. Hayes on the run for it. To the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batter, catcher. Next, here is Christian Vasquez. Prior outings against Wade LeBlanc, seven hits in 13 tries. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Takes just four pitches to retire the Red Sox. But they're still on cruise control, 14 to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings, and he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. He told me that they've been way too aggressive on the first pitch of the at-bat, and while he doesn't necessarily condemn that if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Pat Valaika swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Oh, I love facing pitchers like this. He's leaving nothing to the imagination. Coming to get him some. Still no balls and two strikes. Popped him up. Devers in foul ground. And oh, this one drops. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Infield shifted well the to the right. Here's the first the pitch. DJ Stewart comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. As he'll swing. They can hit this one hard, but foul. Galvis, the runner at first with two gone, fouled away. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Orioles leave one, but this one's pretty much over 14 to nothing. Travis Lincoln gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. 
the second baseman. Wheels and Ball deals. Way. Here's the first pitch. Gonzalez. Hey. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Throw beats him by a half a step. He almost beat that out. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate Johnny Damon hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. No balls in one strike. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. This is on the ground over to first. And that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. And that brings in Xander Bogart. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now. Galvis, great stop to second for one. Not in time. Striding forward now is the DH. David Ortiz bounced out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a drive out to left center field. Bogarts rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now the relay home. And not in time as the run scores. They are putting in some work at the plate in this one, Matt. Another great A.B. Another hit. Another nail in the coffin. That's a startling 15 runs in this one. And they're still going. In now, J.D. Martinez. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. And that one will put him over the top. He's now broken the single season hit record. This crowd is going crazy as they should, recognizing the historic magnitude of really an unbelievable accomplishment. You realize how hard it is to break the single season hit record? You're facing lefties, righties, starters, relievers. This is one powerhouse season that he's had. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pick. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We're through five here this afternoon. The Red Sox on top, 17. First pitch on the way. Leading off with the Orioles. Jumai Jones the is in for the third oh, time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive? No walks up to this point, so he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. One out, nobody on. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Fouled off. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Leading off for the Red Sox. The first baseman, Bobby Goldberg. Here's the first pitch.
Here's the 01. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Count remains at 0 and 2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what now they did it. right there. Big Go strikeout, right keep that guy Good off boy. the base path. Evan. So now to the plate, Dwight Evans, as he grounds one briskly to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Now back. Next, it'll be Christian Vasquez. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch on its way. And he will flail at a fastball here to start things out. Not looking for that, apparently, and it's strike one. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game as this lead got even wider. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious. And apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Uh -huh. the At the plate now, Marwin Gonzalez hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. So far, two for three in this one. Now the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. The Red Sox. Kimbrell comes on to pitch from the bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Rio Ruiz, hey. as he will take a look at a fastball in one. there. As that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0-1. Well, That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. Next will be the designated hitter, no, Pat Valaika. Two matter. outs already on the K Nine. this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. No balls and a strike to count. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a three. check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. And they remain well, well behind. So the 
batting order turns over now and set to go Johnny Damon he'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Here's the first pitch to him. You know some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 count they don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Set to deliver the 0 and 1 high fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes is underneath this one and he puts it away for the first down. So one right. away and here's the shortstop Sander Bogarts. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hey. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. One out, nobody on. Comes Aye. back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Now into the box, David Ortiz. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Around first he's digging for second. And he is in the second base with a double his third hit this afternoon. I think they're way past due changing their approach to this guy. Whatever they're doing strategy wise it's not working. That's his third double of the game so he's feeling pretty good at this one. Another RBI spot for him he's already got three in the game. Behind 0 and 2 now. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. This is just bordering on ridiculous now, guys. 19 runs in one game. To say that they're having some success at the plate would be like saying some kids are excited at Christmas. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the. Ready to begin the eighth. And digging in is the outfielder. DJ Stewart. Only one the count. And it's fouled away. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Fouled away. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. And now the first pitch. Freddie Galvez is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0 and 1. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. So he sets him down swinging. Freddie Galvis is sent packing for the second Eight. out of the inning. Pedro Severino Seven. is in the two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Eight. And that's a two. called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Cesar Valdez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next will be the speed threat. Bobby Dahlbeck hit on the ground to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And that'll put him at an even 40 consecutive games with a base hit as that ties the legendary Ty Cobb. Yeah, I can't even begin to even imagine what this guy's thinking right now. 40 straight games in the big leagues facing this type of talent and finding a way to mix in and out. Dan, as a pitching staff, it starts getting into what range when you know you're trying to end the guy's streak. No doubt about it, D. Where you go through a meeting before the game, you're going over the entire team, and you don't want to be that guy that keeps that streak alive. Unfortunately, he did, and the streak lives on to 40 games. And he can't find the handle, actually, as he must have been caught off guard. It's a double steal. Comes set with the 0-1. High chopper to third. 
Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hit well towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. Man, he's been killing it all game long. Those two RBIs bring his total for the game to five. So he's been at his best when it matters most. No doubt making a bid for player of the game. To the plate now, Johnny Damon. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 35 now on the season as the blowout continues. Your Paul Fry comes on to pitch now, yeah, hoping for better good. results than the other arms Number that they've run out there in this one. Oh. So batting practice oh. continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Oh, Matty V, this has turned into a lopsided one here. How about this, d row Seventh home run of this game alone. This is crazy. They knew coming in they had the lineup to do damage, but this is getting absolutely out of hand right now. This guy is missing over the hard to play. This trend could continue. Into the box, David Ortiz. That's through for a base hit, and he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. No left field. You think they'd stop pitching this guy right now? He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over. And the second run will score as well. Well, Dero, you know they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits hit high and deep out to left center field. Hayes on the run for it. Gone. Tanner Scott will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. In now, Bobby Dahlbeck. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And no surprise based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay to see if they want to challenge the out call. Well, here's another look at it. It certainly was bang, bang. Wow, tough for me to tell on that look. Definitely a tough call for the umpire there. So now to the plate, Dwight Evans as he lines it out to center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles now defense kick comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Hero. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that play. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the... New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Strike one to start the at-bat. Late decision to swing no that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Got him swinging on the fastball there. The Jumai Jones becomes the first oh, out of the inning. Austin Hayes stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. In the air, down the line, and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Fouled off. Another one sent foul. 
He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 hey. count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a developing story here. Eight straight it. strikeouts, hey. and there are two Play. away now. Oh, Trey Mancini is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 27 to nothing the final this afternoon. The Boston Red Sox came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Eduardo Rodriguez earned his victory.